Our mindset is really important. This is a, uh, a picture that was taken, uh, it's an art installation in a place called Uspis, which is a tiny independent republic within Vilnius, the capital of Lithuania. And this republic is, um, uh, was declared, uh, I think it was about 20 years ago, uh, it's all accepted uh, you know, by, the, by the Lithuanian government, but it's a republic that um, is, 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 is very much an, an independent, spirited, artistic republic. It's got a constitution, it's, it's, it, it's expressed in about 30 odd languages, um, and it has a whole bunch of art installations around the place. And, I mean, I just before I kind of move on to the main point, and it's it's worthwhile remembering for us as CFOs that uh, people kind of like the spirit of independence, and they don't always like to be controlled. And you know, for us, when we've got to try and put numbers together, sometimes there can be a bit of a tendency to want to try and control everything, control the message, uh, you know, maybe even control what's been released inside the balance sheet from the balance sheet uh, to show it in the numbers. Um, and, you know, if we want to be truly commercial, the more we can uh, create a sense of an independent spirit, so the results are the results, and the more that we can uh, uh, enable our people to be uh, free and, 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 and artistically expressed to the extent that they can, the, the folks in our team, uh, 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 to come up with new ideas, come up with new templates, uh, the more of a... Of a a uh, powerful leader we can potentially be uh, for our teams. But anyway, our mindset, if we arrive in a new organisation, in a new situation, a new circumstance, we've got two ways of looking at it. If we're a professional musician and we arrive at this place, we can say, well, hang on a minute, it's a, uh, you know, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a piano and a chair, but, you know, look, it's right next to the river and when that floods, that's all, that's going to sweep you away. And look at the state of the chair and all this graffiti all over the piano and, you know, that's the, that's the, we'll, we'll keep away from that. That's just, that's fraught with risk. There's lots of risk. Or the other way of looking at it, of course, would be, well, hang on a minute. What an amazing location to ply our trade. Yes, we'll have to replace the chair. Yes, we're going to have to do something with that, with the piano. It might need a bit of retuning, one or two of the keyboards. You know, we can maybe dust it up, clean up some of the graffiti. And we can do a bit of risk management, but it's only really 100 year uh, you know, every hundred year floods and if it floods, well, I'm sure we'll get a bit of an adv advance warning and we can do we can do something about that. What an amazing place to ply our trade. And, you know, we, we can really use this. This is a tremendous asset for us as a musician. And just think about how we can express ourselves in this environment. There are two ways of looking at exactly the same situation. And I think the more that we can be uh, realistically positive, <laughs> in our outlook, uh, the more powerful potentially a CFO we're going to be inside our organisations.